it has been a busy day in the garden well on the patio rather <laughs> um got a lot of stuff to show you guys um we'll start with what i planted this weekend and that is um some lemon balm here put that in my containers these are the dollar store containers and I also moved some chamomile out. So I got lemon balm and chamomile. Um, this past frost bit back that time again. I'm leaving it in and I'm gonna I'm gonna hope for the best. We're supposed to warm up, so we'll see what happens with it. But everything else is fine that's in here. That's the uh, mustards. Um, and then over here are different spinaches that seem to be okay. Everything over here is still the same. I didn't do any changes over here. However, uh, I did move my mustards and uh, dino kale over here because I planted up my strawberries finally. So I got strawberries going. And there's a third one somewhere. Oh, down there and so I got strawberries um, I put in some onion sets in a couple places so I got a couple here uh, and in here I am trying uh, Robbie and Gary's method of composting in place so we'll see how that goes I got some food scraps in there some onion um, skins and uh, some diced up celery that I'm not gonna eat and I don't know what else is in there, but uh, you just cover it up with a little dirt, keep it wet. Obviously, I need, I just did this. I need to pour some water on there. And um, I don't want to go through the whole thing, but the idea of it is that as that decomposes and then it gets wet, the water that runs out the bottom will feed the plants that is in this container. So, kind of excited about that. I think that's a neat idea. And uh, I just want to show you because I'm super proud. Look at my dino kale. Is that not coming along super nicely? All right, so you know about those. You know about those. Um, the broccoli. The broccoli is finally starting to get some second leaves. Um, I'm hoping to transplant a lot of those. This is the Yad Fa broccoli. Got the seeds from Baker Creek. I'm hoping to transplant some of those because I want that container to put my new rose in. This is a petite knockout rose. Uh, I saw it in a magazine from uh, one of my local uh, garden centers. Petite, or was it Petites? No, it was the other one. I can't think of it right now, but there's another one local to me. Anywho, tell me that isn't gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and it's going to bloom. It's going to flower from spring to frost. Little maintenance, great for filling spaces, ideal for containers. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And mature plants are only 18 inches tall. So this is fantastic. It's hardy to zones 5 to 10. So, yeah, I was all excited to go get this thing. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's going to be about $50. Look, it's already got some blooms coming in. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, uh, it's going to be about $50. I'm sure of it. And uh, I go there and nope. 30 bucks. <laughs> so excited. So excited for that. I just, I'm, I'm oh, oh, it's, I, oh. Just too excited. Uh, everything up here is the same, the same, the same. Oh, I uh, started drilling holes in the rest of my containers so I can start potting those up whenever it gets warmer. Um, oh, that's another thing I did. Here, let's go down here. Oh, I also made a garden flag for the garden. Isn't it cute? Of course, I used my Cricut, but I really like it. I thought that was really nice. Uh, so over here, I planted uh, some onion sets and some potatoes. I had seed potatoes this time, so I planted those in there. And then over here, I planted a couple onion sets on the outsides 
Um, this here is a chamomile. And then in the center, I want to put one of my early tomatoes. Um, I've been hardening those off, and they're good to go, but I'm scared about tonight. Tonight's supposed to get down to 35, and I just don't trust the weather, man. So I'm going to leave my plants in one more night, and then this week, during the week, I will um, go ahead and move some of my early tomatoes out. So in lieu of that, I prepared two more containers for uh, tomatoes for the early ones and they're all they're all determinate varieties so I'm almost thinking I'm gonna do two two and one um, and then this I had my friend make me this rain barrel because I don't have the, the house that I live in doesn't have an outdoor spigot so um, the way I've been watering all these years is I have uh, five gallon buckets those over there and I take them up to my house and I fill them up in my tub and then I carry them all the way back downstairs it's a pain and I was thinking you know since this year I'm trying to double up my efforts I'm not gonna be able to I mean I can but if it was a pain before it's just gonna kill me now <laughs> so I was like I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the watering situation and so I saw a video on this I'll link it below um, and I called my friend I'm like hey can you make this and he goes, absolutely. So essentially what this is, is a 32 gallon trash container with a snap on lid, which is over there. And then it's a planting ring here. He puts some mesh in there with some kind of roping that he can like, you know, kind of tucked it in there to make this taut. And then that'll keep all the mosquitoes and you know all the bugs and any debris you know leaves or something out of it and this will catch water in the rain and then when it's not going to rain I still have my snap on lid which I can go ahead and grab and snap on there and oh this could be a lifesaver this could be a game changer for me you guys I am really stoked about this I'm really stoked Okay, so um, one last thing I wanted to show you, and it's not something that I'm growing, but I gotta share it with you because it's growing. And this is what I see out my back window. Uh, well, the ki my kitchen window, my back kitchen window. Would you look at that gloriousness? Check it out. I cannot believe it. Oh my God, every year I just love this view. Oh, that color, it gets me every time. I love it. Love it, love it. 